Hi, welcome to the new section, Filtering the Images. In this section, we will first learn how to filter images using low-pass filters. We will then move on to downsampling images with filters. Then we will learn how to filter images using a median filter. We will also learn how to apply directional filters to detect edges. Finally, we will compute the Laplacian of an image. So let's begin with the first video, filtering images using low-pass filters. In this first video, we will present some very basic low-pass filters. The objective of such filters is to reduce the amplitude of the image variations. One simple way to achieve this goal is to replace each pixel with the average value of the pixels around it. By doing this, the rapid intensity variations will be smoothed out and thus replaced by more gradual transitions. The objective of the CV blur function is to smooth an image by replacing each pixel with the average pixel value computed over a rectangular neighborhood. This low pass filter is applied in CV blur with image, result and CV size. This kind of filter is also called a box filter. Here we applied it by using a 5x5 filter in order to make the filter's effect more visible. When you run your program, you will get the original image. And the result of the filter being applied on the original image. In some cases, it might be desirable to give more importance to the closer pixels in the neighborhood of a pixel. Therefore, it is possible to compute a weighted average in which nearby pixels are assigned a larger weight than ones that are further away. This can be achieved by using a weighted scheme that follows a Gaussian function, also called as a bell-shaped function. The CV Gaussian blur function applies such a filter, and it is added here in the CV Gaussian blur with image, result, CV size. It is highlighted here. We have specified size of the filter as 5x5 and 1.5 as parameter controlling. Run your program to get the result of Gaussian filtered image. A filter is said to be linear if its application corresponds to replacing a pixel with a weighted sum of neighboring pixels. This is the case of the mean filter in which a pixel is replaced by the sum of all pixels in a rectangular neighborhood divided by the size of this neighborhood to get the average value. The different weights of a filter can be represented using a matrix that shows the multiplying factors associated with each pixel position in the considered neighborhood. The central element of the matrix corresponds to the pixel on which the filter is currently applied. Such a matrix is sometimes called a kernel or a mask. For a 3x3 mean filter, the corresponding kernel would look like this matrix. In this previous matrix example, the CV box filter function filters an image with a square kernel made of many ones only. It is similar to the mean filter but without dividing the result by the number of coefficients. Applying a linear filter then corresponds to moving a kernel over each pixel of an image and multiplying each corresponding pixel by its associated weight. With OpenCV, the Gaussian filter to be applied to an image is specified by providing both the number of coefficients and the value of sigma to CV Gaussian blur. You can also simply set the value of sigma and let OpenCV determine the appropriate number of coefficients. The opposite is also possible, where you input a size and a value of zero for sigma. The sigma value that best fits the given size will be determined. 